on the garden. So excited. I sprayed the neem last night and we weren't supposed to get any, um, we weren't supposed to get any rain whatsoever. Came out of nowhere. Um, I got fungus gnats in my uh, strawberries because of excessive rain. I was focusing too much on the tomatoes. I, I, don't, I don't wanna lose my tomatoes. But the chili peppers are doing great. The different varieties of chili peppers. My romas are doing great. And this morning, I gave this big guy, um, he's been establishing his uh, stock and everything because this was one of those plants that had a difficult time. So I did some calcium and, uh, or some lime rather, and uh, some neem because of over, you know, because of the excessive rains. And I also did a little bit of fertilization around the edge just to give it a little drink in case the nutrients got robbed, which they probably did. Um, my greens are going bananas. Ladybugs are on the way. So that should help with aphid control. I have the neem, but I want to be really careful about over overusing neem. All the chili peppers and tomatoes here are doing rather well and the chard. I personally have never grown chard. Might sound silly. I've got some aphids rolling around here. Ladybug's about to take care of that. These got split um, in the storm. They were perfect. And you know, when you come out there split like that, you get kind of upset, but it's okay. Um, these were some stunted chili peppers and I was gonna give up and just pull them, but I've decided to give them a chance. Um, I, I have to keep an eye on these. Their, their flowers are coming in. I have to still be really careful because these containers, they they get nailed. I mean, they just get nailed. And there's no way I can protect them at this point. There's just too many to try to get underneath the tarp. Update on Serrano's chili peppers. Serrano's my favorite to cook with. One of my favorites. Um, they're doing rather well. Um, they started uh, taking root. They really love this new soil and the mixture combination. This was the freebie I got, and I believe this is a brandy wine. She didn't have them marked, but it's got new growth here. These are sad, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter because I know that sucker's gonna grow. This chili pepper is doing quite well. It pulled out of its funk, did some nitrogen, Epsom salt, and these are the ones I saved from blight. Um, these are those Romas, and they're doing really nicely. I wanted to make sure that they didn't have any splashes underneath. We don't want that happening this year. Really wanna make sure that's clear so I can see. Had some damage there, but it, it, it's doing relatively well. I think these, this year it's gonna be a lot better. There's some fruit setting, so what I wanna do, or some flowers, I'm sorry. What I wanna do is let these go. Um, I kinda of wanna take that off, but at the same time I wanna um, let it let it do its thing naturally my basils and you know I have herbs but this is what happened in the bed I didn't really want to grow in this bed it gave me a lot of trouble last year I didn't feel like dealing with it it was just a nightmare and these are all the seeds that floated um, in the excessive rains and I needed to get these out here so that sweet peas there and go up that, in that ugly old chair yeah the ugly old chair I'm never gonna get rid of it um, I put seed in this today and this one, this is the first time I've ever used any contraption like this other than my own contraptions and in here is chives and pan, any edible flower and or chive and or cherry tomato has been put in these sleeves. That's going to be an adventure. My onions are doing great. Um, this is so I can forage, not so I can make a bulb. Uh, my marigolds are doing great, and I need those for companion planting. Strawberries are not doing good. My first year growing a strawberry, and I'm like, epic fail. The sun's coming out, but that doesn't mean later I'm not going to get some uh, massive whatever. So pretty, it's going to be pretty hot today. I'm also keeping an eye on the bottoms of the tomatoes. That tells me a lot, and then stuff's drying up. So I kind of want to take that off. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just, we'll just see. Um, I'm going to let things go a little bit as of, you know, last year I was overly, you know, thinking it. So aphids will be under control in a few days. Um, everything seems to be doing pretty good. I just got to keep an eye on the soil, the moisture levels, if they're getting nutrients, 
But I think my proudest plant I have out here right now are chili peppers, um, a couple tomatoes, and, and these beautiful, beautiful greens. I love them. And my new sleeves, which I'm so psyched about. So I'm excited. Um, first year growing flowers. I don't really want to do flowers, but it was kind of fun. It was new and adventurous thing in the bat. I just want to throw broadcast seeds and see where I end up. So I'm brewing today and I'm taking it easy. This cleaning of the pot thing every single day is getting a little bit old for me. And all the lids, because every time the rains hit, I don't want to leave this kind of stuff in there. So I have to clean all these again, set them on the deck and let them dry. So this is what you do when it's excessive. And last year when the hails kept hitting, I treated these containers like a bed. There's no way they're the same. Your nutrients are gonna go out. It's gonna just be soggy and weird. And so right now they're not getting consistent water. They're getting rains at random times. Um, I'm giving my bigger plants a drink and a lot of nutrients and letting it do its thing. So I'm probably gonna lose the strawberries, but I think I might stick them in the ground and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a big adventure, but the vine's doing great. It's a lovely vine It's doing wonderfully That's exactly how I want it. So that's my update in the garden, and I'm so excited There's a lot going on out there. I have a lot of new seed in and I, I'm just excited And I have my ginger pineapple brewing and these were organic um, fruits that I got from a friend and she had grown some ginger and so that's my brewing, which is about vegetable gardening, which is about food, which is about health and all the things. But mostly I'm a happy grower and I'm glad to be out there. I don't want to spend any more money on it. I just want it to start giving me what I need. So that's my update in the garden. Yay. It's springtime weather. Stop doing this to us. <laughs> Have a good day.